Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. On this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix if Windows Store is not opening in Windows 11 machine or not working in Windows 11 machine. Now, in this video, I'm going to cover a couple of steps uh, to fix this problem. I would suggest you to try all the steps in case if any of the uh, steps are not working. So, before, without any delay, let's get started. Now, the first thing what I would suggest you to go ahead and check if uh, the Windows Store is not opening is to check if your Windows is activated or not. Now, in case if your Windows is not activated, there are high chances that uh, the Windows Store would not work. So, to, to do that, what you will have to do is you will have to do a right click on the Start button. Once you click on the Start button, click on the System. Once you are on the System page, you will have to scroll down a bit and you will have to look under product key and activation X, uh, navigate to product key and activation now under this section um, the activation state has to be active in case if it is not active you can go ahead and activate your windows via internet or through the telephone so you can call the respective numbers in case if you are not able to connect to the internet you can call the toll free numbers which are available under this list and that should uh, help you to activate your windows now if your windows is already activated um, you can go ahead and try the next step in case if it is not activated activate your windows and try restarting the computer and launch windows store and see if that works now in spite of uh, trying all these steps uh, if you're not able to launch windows store the second step what i would suggest you to do is to check for the windows update so to do that what you will have to do is you will have to do a right click on the start button go to settings once you're on the settings page navigate to windows update on from the left hand side now under this section go ahead and check for the updates in case if there are any updates available go ahead and click on download and install uh, in case uh, you can also go ahead and check for the updates uh, it would go ahead and check for all the available updates in case if your windows is not up to date all the available updates which are uh, available from Microsoft will be listed under here click on download and install restart the computer then try to launch Windows Store and see if it works checking your Windows update and installing the Windows update if you're not able to launch Windows Store the next step what I would suggest you to do is I would suggest you to go ahead and check the time and language settings so to do that what you will have to do is you will have to click on the start button again click on settings once you're on the settings page you will see an option which says time and language under time and language go ahead and uh, select language and region under this section uh, make sure the country or region and the regional format matches with each other because these settings will be applicable if you are using um, windows and apps um, on your computer so make sure these are in sync with each other for example in my case i'm based in india so my language would be india and the regional format would be english india in case if you are using a different country or region for example if you are using united states then you would go ahead and select united states and then you would go ahead and select uh, under the regional and format use um, english united states so this should with uh, sync with each other so it has to be uh, matching the region format for the country what you are using so make sure they are matching with each other um, in case if they're not matching match make sure it matches and then try to launch windows store and see if that works now in case um, even after trying this step if you're not able to launch a windows store the next step what i would suggest you to do is i would suggest you to go ahead and run the windows store troubleshooter now in order to access windows store troubleshooter what you will have to do is you will have to do a right click on the start button click on settings under settings um, you will see an option which says a troubleshoot on the right hand side once you are on the troubleshoot uh, section you will have to click on other troubleshooter to locate windows store troubleshooter now under this window you will see various troubleshooter scroll down to the extreme bottom of this page and you will see an option which says windows store app now under this section uh, what you will have to do is you will have to click on run 
Now, basically, what this will do is uh, this will um, do the basic checks on your machine, like checking the internet uh, connection or the temporary internet temporary files and try to fix the problem by itself with those. So after you have run the Windows troubleshooter, what I would suggest you is uh, in case if there are any fix to be made or fixes are made, you would see that on the screen. So once the Windows troubleshooter is completed, um, you can close this window and then try to launch Windows Store and see if that works. In case if that doesn't work, uh, the next step, what I would suggest you to do is clear the Windows Store cache. So to do that, what you will have to do is um, you will have to uh, click on Windows and run or else open command prompt. So go to search under the search type command prompt and click on run as administrator. In case if you get user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue. In the command prompt section, go ahead and type WS reset. So what you're doing here is you're resetting the Microsoft Store cache. Hit enter. Now, this will go ahead and reset the Microsoft Store cache. This You would see this window on the screen as is. After a um, couple of minutes, um, this window would go ahead and disappear or you may uh, see a message saying that Windows reset is completed. Once that is done, you may try to launch a Windows Store and see if that works. Now, before you launch Windows Store, um, what I would suggest to you is restart the computer and then try to launch uh, the Windows Store and see if that works. So this is one of the steps. Now, in case, in spite of trying all these steps, in if you're not able to uh, launch a Windows Store, uh, what I would suggest you do is uh, to try the next step. Now, if you might have seen on the screen that as soon as the Windows Store cache has been cleared, the Windows Store would launch automatically. So in case if the Windows Store uh, is not able to open uh, in spite of trying all these steps, as the next step, what I would uh, suggest you to do is to check for the Windows Microsoft Store install services. So to do that, what you will have to do is you will have to open services.msc. So you can click on the uh, search and type run or you can press Windows and R key and that should open the run window. Once you're on the run window, type services dot msc and uh, click on ok now this window will show the uh, the number of services which are running on the on your machine now um, once you're on the services dot msc uh, window uh, you will have to look for microsoft store install so you will have it would be in alphabetical order so it will you would see right under this section make sure it has been in running status so in my case uh, microsoft store is opening so it is in running status and in case if it is in manual status what i would suggest you to do is i would go ahead and suggest you to change the status to uh, automatic to do that what you will have to do is you will have to click on properties um, stop the services uh, windows store services change the status to automatic and click on start click on apply and then click on ok and uh, once this is done um, I would also suggest you to go ahead and check for the another services uh, under this section so that is for Windows license manager services so like I said it would be in an alphabetical order and you will have to look for Windows license manager services make sure it is running and it is also in the automatic state so in case if it is not running you can do a right click and click on restart Otherwise, you can click on right click and click on properties and uh, stop the services if you're not able to change the startup type. Uh, make sure it has been set to automatic. Click on start. Click on apply and then click on OK. Uh, once um, these services are set to automatic and um, it is running, uh, make sure these two services are running and then try to close this window and launch Windows Store and see if that works. This should fix the problem. In case um, if this doesn't fix the problem, the next step, what I would suggest you to do is, uh, I would suggest you to go ahead and check um, to reset Microsoft Store app or repair Microsoft Store. To do that, what you will have to do is, you will have to do a right click on the Start button again. Go to Settings. 
once you're on the settings page you will have to navigate to apps under apps you will have to go to apps and features under apps and features you will have to locate for microsoft store under uh, it would be in alphabetical order so look for microsoft store under this section so you will find microsoft store here now click on the three dotted lines uh, beside um, the microsoft store uh, app section click on advanced option once you're on the advanced option scroll down a bit now you will see a couple of options here uh, you would see an option for reset and you will see an option to uh, repair so as a first click on repair and uh, this should go ahead and uh, repair your uh, microsoft store app and uh, just to give you a heads up repairing would not go ahead and re uh, delete or your data wouldn't be affected and uh, once you click on repair, try it launching Microsoft Store and see if that works. In case if it doesn't work, uh, go back to the same window and click on reset and then um, try to launch. Now, when you're resetting, you have to keep in mind that app uh, will reset will go ahead and uh, delete your app data. So let's say if you have any apps installed from Microsoft Store and then click on reset, this will go ahead and delete the app data from your um, from your machine so once you do a reset then try to launch microsoft store and see if that works so after trying all these steps uh, if you're still not able to launch microsoft store then what i would suggest you to do is i would suggest you to go ahead and uh, try uninstalling and reinstalling microsoft store so for that what you will have to do is you will have to uh, open powershell so click on this search button and go ahead and type PowerShell on the screen. Now, one, now once you see PowerShell on the screen, you will have to click on Run as Administrator. In case if you get a user, in case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on Yes or Continue. Now, in the PowerShell command window, you will have to go ahead and type this command to uninstall a uh, PowerShell. So you will have to do a right click click on edit and uh, paste the command and hit enter so what this will do is this will go ahead and uh, uninstall the windows store from your machine and uh, as soon as the uninstallation is complete you will see a message on the screen now for the demonstration purpose and since microsoft store is working on my computer i would not go ahead and, go ahead and uninstall store uh, i would keep as it is now once the uninstallation is complete uh, i would suggest you to go ahead and restart the computer once you restart the computer once you restart the computer, open PowerShell again to reinstall store. So to do that, what you will have to do is you will have to click on search and type PowerShell run as administrator. If in case, if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue. And to reinstall, to reinstall Microsoft store, what you will have to do is you will have to do a right click, um, open PowerShell, right click on the uh, window here and click on edit and paste the url i will mention this uh, command in the uh, video description you can copy it from there and hit enter so this will go ahead and reinstall or install microsoft store on your computer so after a uh, microsoft store has been installed uh, you can you may try to uh, launch microsoft store and see if it works now an additional tip would be uh, to go ahead and restart the computer check for the updates and then try to microsoft open microsoft store and see if it works in case if it doesn't work uh, the next step uh, what i would uh, suggest you to do is um, i would suggest you to go ahead and uh, uninstall your security software and then try to restart the computer and open microsoft store and see if it works so that should fix a problem so in case um, if you're still facing a problem in launching Microsoft Store, what I would suggest you to do is to uh, put a comment in the comment section and let me know in case if you're facing any problem. Possibly I would come up with another video or a possible solution with a reply uh, which uh, might help you to solve the problem. So I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.